This is so scary. Entering and exiting the highway. So we'll do this again, just, just this little section, because it continues on. Make sure you are... Make sure you are in the proper lane well in advance so you can safely enter or exit the highway. So if you want to leave the highway, you should be on this right-hand side to start with so you don't have to yeah. cut way across all the lanes of traffic. Sometimes you see people do that. It's dangerous. They're like way out on the middle of the highway, and then they go all and cut in front of people. So they're saying you got to get to the right-hand side if you want to leave. Yield the right-of-way to drivers already on the highway. So that means when you're pulling on... Don't like pull right in front of them if you're not going fast enough. Let them go by and then go behind them. So what'd you say? Like when you're getting on the highway and you're not going as fast as the car is already on yeah. there, should you pull right in front of them? No. Or, or let them go by and then get in behind them. Let yeah. them go yeah. by, let them get so, behind. So that way, another way of saying that is yield the right of way to drivers already on the highway. When you enter the highway, increase your speed to match the vehicles already on the road. So that's the whole thing. When you start going up the ramp, yeah. you start got to start going really fast, yeah. so that when you get on the highway, you're going as fast as the cars up there. You know, so that you're getting going faster. If you miss your exit, do not stop. Never back up on the highway. Get off the highway at your next exit and look for signs showing you how to rejoin the road in the other direction. So if you're on a highway, do you ever stop or back up or anything like that? No. No, you just get off at the next exit and then try to go back. That happened to us the other day, remember? Like where? We were in Maine. Yeah. We got off the highway and then we just went around and got back on the highway. Okay. So be sure to signal at least 500 feet before you reach the exit ramp. So 500 feet is really far away. So you, so you put your signal on, you know, well in advance of when you're going to leave the highway. As you leave the highway, drive along the exit ramp. Slow down to the posted exit ramp speed limit. So that's the other thing. When you get off a highway, you get to slow down because you're going so fast. And you get onto the side roads, you have to go much slower. So going on those ramps, you got to start slowing down. You don't slow on the brakes, but you got to, you got to kind of in your mind slow down because because those roads are so much slower. Driving on the highway, make sure your vehicle operates well and can drive at highway speeds. Stay to the right and only use the left lane for passing. Well, this is just that thing I was just telling you about, is you always stay to the right-hand side. On an expressway with three or more lanes in your direction, use the far right lane. Oh, this is interesting, so it's changed. So I was a little bit wrong, so we've got to listen to this carefully. On, a, on an expressway with three or more lanes in your direction, use the far right lane for slower driving, the middle lane for faster driving, and the far left lane for passing. So what would you say? So on a regular high, on a three lane highway like I was talking about yeah. before, if you're a slow driver, you stay in the right lane. Yeah. If you're a fast driver, you stay in the middle lane. And the left lane is just for passing, for passing by. Drive in the middle lane, staying between the lines. Oh, sorry. Drive in the middle of your lane, staying between the lines. Use your rear view mirror Using, use your rear view mirror, check your blind spots, and use your directional signals when changing lanes. Remember, use three steps. Look, signal, move. So first you look, then you use your blinker, signal, and then you make your move. Do not drive in another driver's blind spot. If you are in another driver's blind spot, safely drive through the blind spot as quickly as you can. See, it's this driver, this guy right here, when he looks, uh, there's this little area area here where he, he really can't see you very well. Because if he looks in his rear view mirror, he, he can see behind him, like back here. And if he looks out his front and his side, he can see here. But right here, unless he's really good at using his side view, side view mirrors, then sometimes he miss, you can't really see you here. So this is called the blind spot. So you, usually when you go and buy a car, you don't want to sit here. You want to get here and then go through it. Don't like hang out in that spot. I don't know if you see me do that a lot when I'm driving, and I go by somebody, I don't just yeah. hang out here, I go, and go by them. So, so this is do not drive in another person's blind spot. If you're in another driver's blind spot, safely drive through the blind spot as quickly as you can. Look out for vehicles entering the highway and any vehicles or pedestrians in the breakdown lane. Do not weave in or out of traffic. That was the thing I was like, that's weaving, like going back and forth. You stay in your lane. 
unless you're passing somebody. Be aware of road construction signs, work crews, and signs that require you to reduce speed or change lanes. Take extra care when exiting a highway that uses breakdown lanes as travel lanes. Look to your right and check your right-hand blind spot before exiting. Avoid highway hypnosis. If you have been driving for a long time and feel tired, you should get off the highway at the next exit, rest stop, or service area. Because sometimes you can drive on the highway and it's like, it almost makes you like go to sleep because it's so boring, right? If you plan to drive far, stop and stretch every two hours or every hundred miles. The highway department has a 511 phone service. You can use this to get up-to-date information about traffic and weather conditions, construction projects, and MBTA service. You can also report problems on the road. Dial 511 for your cell phone. It is available Monday through Friday, 5.30 a.m. till 9 p.m. and week, weekdays and holidays, weekends and holidays from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Well, that's kind of interesting. Well, that, so you can probably call up and find out about traffic on the highways. We'll have to try that sometime. What would you say? You dial this number. Let me write it down. We'll try it. It's This is the landline number. 617-374-1234. Or from your cell phone, it's, you know how 911 is the police? Yeah. For 511, you can listen to... Uh, you can listen to the traffic information. Intersections. Intersections are where two or more roadways meet. Traffic flow at intersections is often controlled by signals, signs, and or pavement markings. So when you get to an intersection, there's usually signs that say stop or yield or all kinds of mark markings on the ground and stuff. The next two sections in this chapter, turns and right-of-way rules, describe the rules and procedures you must follow at intersections. Some roads have multiple turning lanes, while on these roads you should follow the applicable road signs or markings. Intersections are very important to the flow and safety of traffic. It is illegal to block an intersection with your vehicle. When driving through an intersection, you must obey all signs and traffic signals. You may only enter an intersection or drive across a crosswalk if there is enough room for you to drive through safely. So what they're talking about, this happens sometimes up at the mall, is if there's a bunch of cars kind of uh, on the road and it's kind of blocked up, you can end up pulling into the intersection, but you can't go all the way through, and then you get stuck in the middle of the intersection. So what you And say? that's dangerous. So, so I'll read this again. You may only enter an intersection or drive across a crosswalk if there is enough room for you to drive through safely. So sometimes, if this happens up by the mall sometimes, is the cars will kind of get bunched up, and then you don't want to pull into the intersection until you know you can get through because then the light could change and then your car is sitting in the middle of the intersection and you can't go anywhere, you're stuck. So that's what they're talking about here. You gotta if it's all traffic is all jammed up, don't drive in the middle of an intersection and stop. You gotta wait until you should be able to go through. Blocking the paths of other vehicles or pedestrians in an intersection or crosswalk is dangerous. This causes traffic jams and violates traffic law. So that's that's one. Turns. Many motor vehicles Many motor vehicle crashes are caused by improper turns. Take the following steps to turn safely. One, plan for the turn. Do not turn suddenly. Two, signal your turn at least 100 feet before making the turn. On a highway, signal at least 500 feet before a turn. So how many feet do you have to signal on a highway before you turn? How many feet? 100 feet. That's on a regular road. 500. On a highway, it's 500 feet. It is, a regular road, it's 100, and a highway, it's 500. Yep. It is best to signal before you apply your brakes. So make, so you make your intentions to known to other drivers. When you turn, reduce your speed. So what does that mean? Speed up. It means slow down. Slow reduce down. means yeah, slow down. It means reduce means less. So slow down. Check your mirrors for traffic behind you, and check the blind spot on your turning side. So that means just look behind you and make sure there's no car like right uh, next to you. Okay, give the right of way when appropriate. See right of way rules section, so that's coming up. Complete the turn carefully, making sure you turn into the proper lane. Oof, this would be bad. M yeah, mommy did this once. She, instead of driving into this lane like this, 
she drove her car from and went like this <gasps> into the wrong lane on that one. She just made a mistake because she was a new driver. Uh, two way. That's a two way. It goes yeah. that way and that way and that way. And then you go that way. The road diagrams below show proper turns. It is very important you turn from that you turn from and turn into the proper lanes. Look for yellow or white pavement lines marking the road you are turning into. If you need to change lanes, do so after your turn. Here are a few rules. For a right turn, it's just that one's easier. Right? Left turn on a two-way road. To a two-way road, so a regular road. You gotta go like this. And this is on a we don't really have many of these roads around here, but a one-way road. Left turn from a two-way road onto a one-way road. So you can you want to turn into here because all the cars are just going in that direction. And then a left turn from a one-way road to a two-way road. This is sort of tricky, so you wouldn't go like this because why? Because the cars come in this direction, crash into you. So you go into this lane. I put my blinking lights. Oh yeah, see the blinker? Look, that's look, what that's blink, 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 blink. That's what that is. Turn from the lane closest to the lane you want to enter. For a right turn, turn from the far right. Turn, turn from the far right lane. For a left turn, turn from the left. For a left turn, turn from the lane closest to the center lane. Oh, this is what we're talking about up here. Do not swing your vehicle out of your lane when making a turn or swing wide through the intersection. Keep your vehicle centered in the middle of the lanes you are leaving and entering. Once you have started a turn through an intersection, you must follow through. <laughs> Do not stop in mid-turn and change direction. If you decide not to make your turn, simply drive to the next intersection and work your way back. That's sort of an important rule. Once you enter an intersection doing something, don't like change your mind or stop or change. You just follow through with it. Even if you decide, oh, that's not the way I want to go. You just keep going through because you don't want to create a crash. You just go through and then figure out how to fix it later on.